Hey Frank, my name is Erin. I'm with Duff Digital Marketing and you had spoken with my partner and husband Rob on Facebook. So as promised, I'm shooting you this short video just to give you a few tips on how to help grow your business online. And I will keep this short, but if by the end of the video you can tell that that is certainly something that we specialize in and that's something you're interested in doing for your business, please reach out to us and we can chat. And if not, no worries. I hope you're able to take these tips I'll give you and put them into action. The only thing I do ask, if you don't mind, would just be to give me some feedback on this video and let me know if it was helpful. But the three things we're going to be going over will be content, citations, and backlinks. So first up is content, and I do have your Facebook page here. And I did see where you had a website listed, but when I do go to that website, this was the only thing that came up. Um, so just in the interest of speaking about content, I do have one of the competitor sites here. And content would be considered anything you can see here. It does include the words but also the pictures and what the pictures are saved as and Google wants to see 1500 words on the home page of a website but within those 1500 words that gives you the opportunity to be able to integrate in keywords that people are searching when they're looking for your services um, so my suggestion if it's not something that's already in the works for you all definitely get either your website back up and running or get a new website um, it truly is the first step in getting ranked on Google as well as you know it pretty much serves as like a digital business card for you but between getting that content on your site and getting those keywords integrated that is going to help out a tremendous tremendous, tremendous amount. So let's go back to the search here and we'll go on to the next thing, which is citations. And typically when you search, this is the first thing that pops up. This is called the map pack and citations have a lot to do with that. So a citation is essentially your business name, address, and phone number listed in various directories throughout the web. And when I say directory, I mean things like Facebook, LinkedIn, Yelp, Yellow Pages, really anywhere else that will allow a business to enter those details. So you would want to check out where your competition is being listed and you want to grab those listings for your business. But then you want to double, triple, quadruple where you're found. So for instance, if your top competitor has 10 directory listings, you want to grab those 10 and then you want to add another 20, 30, 40. That's going to have you completely dominating them in that space, but it does also help you to rank high on the maps here as well. So moving along to the next thing, which is backlinks. And backlinks have a lot to do with this section. This is called the organic section. And the way backlinks work is there is a website out there that has a link to your site. And it's pushing power to your site, but it's also potentially driving traffic to it. But not all backlinks are created equal. So let's say that you did some work for someone who owns an ice cream shop and they've decided they're going to take a link from their site and push one back to yours but their link is going to be all about ice cream. So it's not gonna be very helpful. You would wanna get links from other uh, vape companies that send something back to your site and that will signal to Google that that is the industry that you're in. And because of that, it's gonna be a lot more powerful and also more unique in Google's eyes. And this is one of the tools that I use just so I can give you a visual representation. So this is the website we just looked at and it's showing currently that site has 1.83 thousand referring domains giving them 375,000 backlinks, getting them found for 87,000 keywords, and all of that is driving about 230,000 people to their site per month. So let's take a look at the keywords that they're using here and see if we can kind of get some ideas. So let's see. So we're really looking for buyer intent keywords. So that's gonna be anything someone would actually think to type into that search bar. Um, here's one, vape shop near me. So this is a great one because it lists that service or industry, and then that near me is going to automatically revert to wherever the person searching is located. Um, so you can most certainly use something like that. Um, another example, if someone has to go to a physical location to purchase your products, you definitely wanna target that location. So. Um, um, let's say that your store is in Tampa. A good key phrase to use would really be something like um, vape shops, Tampa, Florida. That would be a great one. Or any product that you sell, vaporizers, where to buy a vaporizer in Tampa. Um, so I'm certainly not going to bore you and have us go through all of these keywords, but I do hope that at least kind of gives you an idea of the types of things you would want to integrate into the content on your site. And truly, in order to beat out your competition, you just want to make sure that you're being found in a lot of the same places they are. But also, as we talked about earlier, making sure that you're always adding on to that too. Um, 
And that way, you know, you're always far surpassing your competitors. And that is the kind of thing that gets you on that first page of Google. But that's all that I have for you today, Frank. I do hope that this video was helpful. And if you'd like more information about Dev Digital Marketing and how we can help grow your business via your online presence, please contact us. We would love to talk to you. But thanks again for your time and you have a fantastic rest of your week.